South Louisiana, ground zero in the nation's fight against coastal erosion amid climate change, hurricanes, and sea level rise. The state now armed with an ambitious plan to reverse land loss. The more green stuff we can put in place in our basin between our levees and our barrier islands is good for storm surge and reducing wave height during hurricanes and storms. The plan starts with the Mississippi River, the freshwater sediment source that built Louisiana and the Gulf Coast over thousands of years. Levees like this one, built in the last century to protect cities and towns from flooding, have in turn starved the coastline of rich nutrients and silt needed to not only create land, but sustain it. Louisiana's plan calls for cutting into the levees to redirect fresh river water back to the coast. We try to reestablish what was here before with the river built historically. Experts say these long-term diversions will create land at a fraction of the cost of dredging, which scoops sediment from one location and deposits it into another. For a dredge project, we may be talking about 100 acres, 200 acres, or 1,000. Diversions have the potentials for tens of thousands of acres. Supporters say this existing diversion near New Orleans gives a hint of what can happen on a much larger scale. That's what we want to see. Future diversions will be bigger and deeper. But that's a worry for fishermen like Brad Robin. Oysters need a certain amount of salt water to survive. I know it's going to destroy it. Critics also question whether enough land can be created to offset the rate of erosion. Still, Representative Garrett Graves says diversions are the state's best hope for the future. As we get better at this, I, I am confident we are going to get to the place to where we can draw a line in the sand and say everything above here is sustainable. But the diversions will take years to build as Louisiana continues to lose thousands of acres of shoreline every year. Stacy Plaisant, The Associated Press.